over the past few years, there has been a sort of trend in the anime community of moving away from objectivity and instead embracing the subjective taste of all the different viewers. And while I guess this is true, viewers have different tastes, they might like different things, there's still a part of me that just doesn't like this. Like, Big Order is a bad anime, and I don't think anyone can say it is good, or that someone can say that Big Order is better than something like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Even taking into account taste, there still feels like there should be some objective truth here that we can study. Like, I am a mathematical person. I like numbers because they follow logic. If I am arguing with someone about math, it's not our different opinions, it's the facts, and we are all looking for the truth, not just some way we feel. Like, I'm even a published scientist, like, right here. Like, I wrote this. Actually, this is my script for Boku no Hero and why I love it so much. Regardless of my inability to print out the correct things, today I want to peel back the veil of subjectivity and illustrate to you what are the objectively best anime of all time. Are you ready? Probably not. Let's do it anyway. Well, now that we are done testing out my new camera, let us now turn to our search of what truly makes a show objectively the best. Well, when talking about objective and best, there are two words to consider. According to Google, the best source for any true scientist, objectively means that it is in a way not influenced by personal feelings or opinions. So that would mean just because I have strong feelings about Boku no Hero, Kill a Kill, or Handshakers, it doesn't matter should I judge the show objectively. And no, the objectively best anime isn't a dumb show about kids trapped in video games or a boring show about guys in space. Because we are being objective here and I don't care what crazy fanboys say. Though I'm pretty sure you already know this because it is brought up in every video talking about objectivity ever. A best though, that is the interesting word here, in my subjective opinion, of course. Best is a term we all know. It's very simple. It means better than any other option. But it is also vague and it carries with it a lot of questions. But once more, as the great scientists that we are, we should turn to Google and see that it means of the most excellent, effective, or desirable type of quality. Well, that gives us a place to start. So let's look at these three traits that make something the best. Starting with excellent. Now at first glance, it looks like another vague term, but it is much easier than you would think to find out what anime would best fit this description. And that would be of course, Slayer's Excellent, because it literally has the word excellent in the title. I mean, how is that not the most excellent anime ever? No other show out there has excellent in the title. Sure, I haven't seen Slayer's Excellent or any of Slayer's, and I barely know what it is, but since this is an objective list, I don't need to have seen it if it fits our condition. It is, by definition, excellent. So it is the first of our objectively best anime of all time. Though, of course, that is not the only thing that best means. So let's move to the second term, and that is effective. Well, here again, we have something that does not have a concrete meaning, but for something to be effective, it must have the desired effect. And what effect is anime supposed to cause? Well, two main effects as far as I can tell. From a business perspective, anime is supposed to make money. And then from an artistic perspective, anime is supposed to be enjoyed or provide entertainment. We'll save the business perspective for later and instead focus on the enjoyment aspect. To identify the anime that has caused the most entertainment and enjoyment, I would say the best place to go would be the anime ranking sites as they compile information from thousands if not millions of fans and fans generally rank shows based on enjoyment. Looking across my anime list in Kitsu, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is at number one and on Anime DB it is number two. Plus it has the most number of favorites on Mal. So based on the statistics I have available through the power of Google, I feel that saying Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has provided the most enjoyment in a fair and objective standard. Therefore, it too deserves a spot among the objectively best anime of all time. Now, let's move on to the third term for best, and that is desirable. Desirable means that it is something people want. They desire to have it. They want to obtain it. But how is desirable measured? Well, for this, we turn to the lessons of the previous show on the list that in order to obtain something, something of equal value must be given. And in our world, to obtain anime, you must give up money. So to find what anime is the most desirable, all you need to do is look at the one which made the most money. And like all good scientists, when I have a question, 
I go to Wikipedia for the answer. Well, that or Stack Exchange, but today, Wikipedia. And here we see that Your Name is the top grossing film, which really shouldn't surprise anyone if you follow the anime news at all over the past couple years. So it too deserves a spot among the objectively best anime of all time. But of course, this is just movies, and there are many anime series that aren't movies, but it is much harder to find data on total sales for these. Although, thanks to obsessed people on the internet, we do have data on anime disc sales in Japan, which account for a majority of the total sales for anime. So, thanks to the website Some Anime Thing, the anime since 2000 that has sold the most copies for per volume is Bakamonogatari, showing how desired it is, so it is added to the objectively best anime of all time list. But we have to look at anime that aired before 2000, because, well, there are a lot of them, and the anime that sold the most copies per volume is none other than Neon Genesis Evangelion, so it too is added to the list of objectively best anime of all time. While it might make sense to combine these lists and pick one winner, the side states that you should not compare these two because the data was collected in different ways, so we have two winners here. Plus, this gives me five anime total for my list, and five is a good number. Subjectively speaking, of course. I guess I could go deeper or do more research or stuff for things like these, but while I might be a scientist, I am easily distracted and have gotten ideas for like three other videos in the time it took me to make this one. So tell me what you thought of my super objective list. Was it everything you hoped it would be? Are you completely in awe of my research abilities and knowing how to Google? Does it make your life better now that you too know what are the objectively best anime of all time? Or are you just going to watch and have fun with the shows that you like and not really care what someone says is objectively good? I know that's what I'm doing at least. So talk to you later.